Good evening, friends. Good evening once again. Just let me check whether I'm live or not. Yes, I am. So hello, 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 Facebook friends. How are you? Okay. Uh, just. So good evening, friends. Good evening once again. Uh, apologies for yesterday. I was uh, away as well, and I was in a low network zone, so. I could not uh, take the session, but uh, we have the buffer zone or the buffer day in the form of Sunday. So we'll use those things and uh, you can say use Sunday as a backlog. So let me share my screen so that we can begin the proceedings. So welcome to episode number nine of the pain points, uh, finance pain points, uh, the series which we have been taking 24 hours late. Of course, uh, I was in a low network zone, so I... Uh, prefer to skip it rather than uh, can say take in a zone where I can't explain things to you guys. So never mind, uh, we have the buffer zone in the form of uh, Sunday. So we'll utilize the Sunday and still try to finish everything in the in the same year itself. So as usual, all my presentations always begin with thanking the Lord Almighty who's given me much more than what I deserve. And of course, uh, when it comes to finance, I have to thank my dad as well, who has been instrumental in teaching me the clinical part of finance. So this is my brief CV. You are all aware of it by now. So today is webinar number 271. Season's greetings to all of you. And this is the FPMP series. Uh, good evening, good evening, good evening, friends on Facebook. Uh, I can see a lot many of you. Great, great, great. Uh, let's continue the session. So just uh, get a pen and a paper. Keep noting down the main points because listening alone will never help. Jotting down the pain points will always uh, do that. Writing is the best form of learning. And of course, uh, I always say that very fondly, those who make notes actually will make notes. And you will be needing to post your takeaways for the uh, friends. Some of them are attending on Facebook, uh, but uh, a few of you are attending on WhatsApp. So what are the learning objectives for today? The learning objectives are very simple to answer the pain points that have been asked in the 2023 survey. And of course, we'll stick to the 90 minute schedule. Uh, I won't be doing any recaps. Uh, I did the recap the first six pass parts in episode number seven from eight and nine on, uh, you can say seven or onwards from eight, nine, 10, 11. I'll be just starting with the query from where I left off so i'll be just picking up the problem for uh, as it is the queries have been picked up from the google form as it, they have arrived we have not, not tried to correct any spellings because that sometimes you can say sometimes changes the meaning of a few things so in the previous session uh, we we answered till query number 116 from abohor punjab so i'll be moving ahead with the uh, query number 117 and with this, we begin this FPMP series for today, episode number nine. And of course, uh, webinar number 271. So the aim is that uh, sometimes people have posted wrongly the practice pain points into the finance pain points, but never mind. Uh, I'll be still answering them unbiased. So query number 117 from Mumbai, Maharashtra. I'm 33 years old now. I want to be financially free by 40. For that, I calculated I need at least 10 crores. That number looks a little difficult till 40. So I wanted to gather at least 3 crore in equity and 2 crore in debt like PPF, Sukanya and all. My expenses as of now are between 1.5 uh, to 2 lakhs per month. That is huge. Once I have that number, I feel I will be stress-free, but I want it before or by 40. Last year, I invested 26 lakhs from my, my wife and my daughter's account, out of which almost 17 lakhs was in equity and other in PPF, Sukanya and LIC. Uh, wanted to quit LIC scheme, but I'm too late for that now as I've already paid seven premiums out of 16, 80,000 per year and maturity amount being close to 18 lakhs. Split up uh, in equity is half in mutual fund and half in stocks. This financial year, I have been investing more in mutual funds and less in stocks. My total equity portfolio as of now is 35 lakhs. So I have seven years to reach to my target of three crore. According to my calculations, I'm falling a little short even after the best of my limits. My income has increased after COVID, but it's being stable now. Increasing my income by 10% every year now is getting difficult as my health is taking a toll. Need your guidance for the same. 
So firstly, I would say it is a good goal setting exercise, but uh, trust me, my dear friend, uh, you are doing it in a diligent manner, but your calculation is too far-fetched, I would say. So if you want to reach up to 10 crores by 14, seven years, it will not be possible, even if uh, you have been investing very, very regularly. And uh, if you believe that the total corpus reaches 10 crores, probably by the age of 45 to 47, I would be still hoping that compounding works at magic and does the needful for you. But uh, uh, for you to be stress-free after 40 and spending the next seven years in full stressed life, you're absolutely going to take your toll. You say, when you don't have age, when you don't have health, what will you do? Money goes only medical expenses. Mein jata hai. So that is where you need to take a call because with increasing age, you will not be able to work that much. So I can understand. I hope uh, you had a long query about your back problem in the practice pain point uh, series as well, which I answered probably in episode number four or five. So I can remember that. But uh, don't take stress today to be stress-free later seven years because you are young and uh, stress can cause a lot of lot of things so take it easy be regular be disciplined be diligent but give your goal a little more time 40 is not the age to retire i told you i wanted to retire by 40 but not fully even partially but i had a very strong and a solid reason that i had a back injury exactly 20 years back in december 2003 i was told to change this profession and uh, this is how this alternate degree list that you see in my CV came into being. Luckily, my back injury healed by 2006. I am sure you might be knowing my story. Luckily, my back injury healed by 2006. But uh, it was never, you can say, intended because I really loved dentistry. So today when I work, I'm still working eight to nine hours uh, of dentistry. Of course, active work I'm doing for five to six hours. But still, I'm present in my clinic for eight to nine hours. So what I mean to say is that I plan to retire by 40 partially because of my back problem. But I didn't do so because my back was holding up well. Because uh, I had inculcated, a, you can say, or always had a game in my routine. And I've never left that. Maybe I take a pause sometimes, take a break sometimes for a couple of months from things when they really get overboard. So that is the same I would advise you. Even it is a, you can say dentistry, even as a work, even as a profession, short breaks can really rejuvenate you. So presently also I am on a break since tomorrow, uh, since yesterday morning, I'll be back uh, tomorrow morning. So a 48 hour break is a good uh, enough. And I always take this 36 to 40 hour, 48 hour break every now and then. So, uh, now what I'm trying to say is that even if your work, even if your game, even if your schedule gets too nervy on you, it is better to take a break every now and then because that is where you get some time with yourself, some time with nature, some time you can say you really introspect or you can say check it out whether I'm doing things or not. So sometimes taking things too fast can actually derail you. So think of long-term calculations. The things you are talking about like debt, PPF, uh, Sukanya and all, they are bound to give results properly after 15 to 20, 20 years. So even if you are 33 right now, I am not really sure whether you, your daughter or your wife are into this profession of investing. Now, mind you, not in, I'm not talking dentistry, but investing into this, uh, uh, into this profession of investing for 15, 20 years. So give those debt a handsome time and you can, you can say collect a huge amount from debt itself. Give your debt at least 20 years and you can have a good amount means I'm talking three to five CR only from debt portion. And I'm not talking about the equity part. Equity has endless limits. I was uh, just checking the nifty returns today and uh, you would find it because hard to believe 2021 nifty had 24% returns. Uh, 2023 till uh, September had very decent returns. We can say very nominal returns, I would say, maybe around uh, 4 to 5%, 4 to 6%. But as the year has closed, today is Friday. So as the year has closed today for the stock market, Nifty performance in 2023 is 20%, to zero. 
that is how the appreciation has happened it and now it will reflect in of course stocks and uh, mutual funds as well so uh, calculate th those things uh, i'm i'm happy that we are back to investing more in mutual funds and less in stocks but yes uh, stocks if you can hold after doing all your lti long term investing part if you are doing all that in a disciplined dedicated and a boring manner i mentioned the word boring is because uh, discipline after a time is equated to boring you do keep on doing same things again and again with due diligence and you still don't deter from that path that is why discipline gets boring after a time and people want a life mein kuch tufani karte hain moment so don't go for that so uh, great mutual funds are a great way to do that and uh, the returns i've talked about and we are going on a bull run phase for sure uh, it has been the history since the past uh, many many you can say decades now the run up to the 6 months phase the 6 months run up phase to the general elections has usually been full of bull run so enjoy the ride and uh, for some things if you want to take an exit those who are working not working i mean stocks or something maybe funds as well so you can is exit and enter into something new of course don't withdraw the money uh, uh, for stocks you can withdraw the money for mutual funds you can stop and miss and match and you can say keep on changing the sips Uh, let the money grow if the fund is not performing well and uh, yes if it 20% of return compare it against the benchmark if the benchmark is not that great or uh, sorry if your returns are not that great compared to the benchmark then probably stop that and venture into something different maybe sectoral uh, exposure would be good for you so i hope uh, my suggestions uh, help you and i have answered your query So query number one hundred and eighteen from Mumbai, Maharashtra. How to save for clinic for limited income being from limited income being earned. So, if your question, uh, my dear friend, is for uh, you can say putting back money, you can say into business. I give that number at ten percent as per my TWCGO formula. So you need to put at least ten percent of your money back into the business known as operating expenses. and so that you keep on saving that for a further updation now when you save that 10% it does not mean you go and buy something tomorrow itself it can be saved for a purchase which is maybe coming up 3 months 6 months 7 months 9 months down the line and you need a handsome sum to top it up and you don't want to disturb your routine expenses for that that is one way of doing it the second way is increase the bar of the limited income break away the shackles and increase your sources of income now sources i'm not saying dentistry ke alawa bhi kuch aur karna shuru kar do i'm talking of the sources inside your dentistry or sources inside your income what i mean is most of us rely on word of mouth only for our clinic growth and word of mouth is purely luck by chance some days it is diwali some days it is diwala so we cannot be absolutely sure because relying on word of mouth word of mouth is a great way i am not denying that but relying only on word of mouth as a strategy where you have absolutely no control over how many leads referrals you will get each week each month then you can't call it a strategy strategy is something you can have a hold upon you can control the output and the input both in that so in word of mouth you can't do that so there may be days you get 10 referrals uh, you can say in a week but there will be days when you don't get even 10 referrals in a month so increase those sources so that your limited income changes to a satisfactory income or more than satisfactory if not unlimited is the word and of course put 10% keep in separate because the 10% plowing back of profits or plowing back of money into the business is essential for your clinic making some change and clients or patients would appreciate any sort of freshness being induced it can be as trivial as a small clinic paint it can be your blinds curtains sofa covers furniture anything that brings about some element of freshness in the clinic is a good one so try to increase the sources inside the working of the clinic and of course put at least 10% to that and i hope that answers your query So query from Halwar Gujarat number hundred and nineteen. I can't record my income and expenses. Uh, you can't record, or you don't want to record 
these are two separate things whatever it is it is mandatory by the law you need to have a source of income in the form of form 3c or any such similar modified form 3c where you need to keep a record of your income and it is mandatory to be kept for at least three years from the practice point of view from financial point of view at least five years to six years that is mandatory if you're following a presumptive system of taxation you may be exempt from maintaining any expenses if you're falling in that range of 5 to 50 lakhs provided your digital receipt is more you have the limit of 5 lakhs to 75 lakhs now i'm presuming that you will claim profit at 50 percent if you're claiming a higher profit which means you say expenses 30 or 40 government does not mind but if you claim the reverse that my expenses are 70 percent i have only 30 percent profit and you're doing presumptive then you need to maintain the expenses if you say, uh, if you're following the normal conventional way, then also you need to maintain the expenses. If you're following the audited way, then also you need to maintain the expenses. It is only between that presumptive range of 5 to 50 or 5 to 75 with conditions apply that you can get adrift from or get away from maintaining expenses or expenses details or all the bill details. But still, for any sort of return that you file, any ITR that you file, you need to still maintain a source of income. It is a given. You have to maintain in each and every section. So I hope I answer your query. So query number 120 from Chennai, Tamil Nadu, not aware of investment plans and saving methods. This is a learning curve. Make it a learning goal for year 2024. Again, I won't be selling here, but I have my workshop next month. So I'm not sure how many of you are in Facebook. I can see about 16, 17, 17 people on Facebook, three people here in the Zoom room. So 20 of you are attending. Uh, how many of you are being, uh, you can say answering your, getting your queries answered up to you. So make that as a learning goal. If you are not aware of investment plans, either delegate it to a financial advisor or learn it yourself. Now, whether your CA is managing your returns, is managing that correctly or not, or your financial advisor is managing your investments correctly or not, you still need to have a basic knowledge. So either way, you will need a knowledge of the investments, taxation, and the basic, you can say, financial nitty gritties, which is a no-brainer. Want to learn from me? I have a workshop next month. If not, learn from someone else you trust. But please learn this thing. Ignoring these things is not going to help you. And uh, if you watch this session later on, probably this goes in the month of April and May, this will go on YouTube. So whenever you watch this session, if you go at that point of time, even then uh, make it as a learning goal for the year 2024 so that you have the basic knowledge of how things work. And any investment, I dare say that, any investment without the basic knowledge of banking and taxation is as good as zero. You may be a king in stock market. You may be a king in cryptocurrency. But if you know Indian tax, if you don't know Indian taxation system, you are zero in my eyes. I'm not saying that for the purpose of anything else, but taxation is the basic, basic structure on which all the things of understanding of finance for a doctor like us or any for, you can say beginner like uh, anyone or even a middle road. Taxation is something basic that in any everyone needs to know. And if you don't know it, make that as a learning goal. So fear of next month income and expenses. That fear comes because we are relying mostly on word of mouth. So if you were doing active marketing, you would not be having a dearth of patients. You will be having a consistent pipeline of leads. You would be having, you can say something, uh, you can say where you can actually command, where you can actually command that, yes, sir, I am having those things. And of course, conversion will still play its role. Not everyone walking through your door is your patient. So an average or an idle conversion rate is great. You can say if we talk of the numbers, 72% is a great conversion rate. So if you're having below that or a little bit close to that, it's fine. If you're having less than 50, less than 40, then it is a matter of concern. If you're already having it above 72, 80, 85, 90, then you're already doing great. So remember that everyone walking through your door is not your patient. So if you have less income, less expenses or uh, more expenses, 
then something is surely wrong. Either you're charging or pricing is not correct or you are not having consistent enough amount of patients. Either way, you need to learn the marketing as well. So make these you are two goals, learn marketing, learn posting educational content on social media. Today, social media is the new digital pan and adhar of this world, of this new world post COVID. So make uh, data that as a learning goal. Number one, you have to learn digital marketing or content marketing. And number two, you have to learn about taxation and investment. Content marketing, a few videos are there. Even taxation investment, a few videos are there. They'll give you some basic knowledge. Of course, there is not a detailed knowledge in that. But if you want to learn, want to learn them, I teach both these things. You're free to learn that. So if you are willing to. I hope uh, I answered your query. So query number 121 from Mumbai, Maharashtra. I have many such patients, ones who get full mouth, rehabs, smile designing, etc. Big tick, uh, also known as big ticket patients, they tend to pay full amount in cash. Like one FMR case paid at 2 lakhs in cash. I want to know what should be done in this situation as I know cash transactions are limited and we aren't legally allowed to take cash of such large amounts. And how also how to go about depositing this amount in our account. It's been 1.5 years since I started my practice. Wanted to know when should we start investments and also which is the best way to enter this area of investments for a beginner, extremely clueless and also scared to begin an investment. So the first thing is congratulations that even if you have a great OPD or a great, uh, you can say number of big ticket patients in 1.5 years of practice and you're already doing very great. So yes, you are right you cannot receive above rupees 10 lakh or oh, sorry above rupees 2 lakh in cash and if somebody is paying you and uh, you want to show that then you will be in a soup if you were to audit your accounts number one number two tomorrow this patient wants a bill from you then you would be in a problem number three you uh, sometimes we have a reverse situation patient is paying us digitally but our consultants or visiting specialists they want payment in cash. Then you are paying tax on that money which is received, but you are paying something you can say out of cash and even you're paying tax on that also. And the consultant is getting tax free. So uh, we have sometimes reverse problem also for cash. So I believe uh, we need to respect the law of the land. There should not be any issues where somebody you can say gets our accounts audited. You can say has last transaction then we will be having a problem. As regards how you deposit this amount in your account, if you are, uh, you can say, having uh, uh, um, less than 2 lakhs, you can deposit it in your current account and of course, show it as the entry. It is perfectly allowable. If you put it into the account, it becomes your income and it is as good as you can say, you can say you don't have any problem, you don't face any problem because of that. It is only when we receive in cash, don't show it in our account and then the payments are made because a 2 lakh or a 4 or 5 lakh case would have bigger payments also. Then you sometimes won't be able to justify in case of an audit that you have not received anything in digital, but you're paying so many bills in digital. So effectively, what will that happen? That if you have this much amount of income and the amount of income that you have not shown is also this much, but your expenses are this much. So what is going to happen? this income, this expenses, you're going to have lesser profit. That means eventually less than 50% of profit, which means more expenses. Then you surely need to go in for audit. Or audit mein phir aake aap wahan pe phasoge ki ye aapne payment liya kyun? Liya to 2 lakhs ke cash kyun liya? So hmm. rather than going into that thing, anything that crosses 2 lakhs. And FMR case is not something you overnight have a problem. Oh my God, this case is going above 2 lakhs. FMR cases are usually about 2 lakhs or usually say I will say 3 to 4 lakhs. So when you know before the start convey it that it is the law, we cannot receive it. So please pay us digitally. And of course, the second thing, tomorrow, God forbid, please don't uh, misunderstand me. Tomorrow, God forbid, your case goes wrong. Your case goes wrong and the patient sues you in uh, you can say consumer court. And the first thing, if you have not given receipt to the patient, you are at fault. Unfair trade practices. If you have given a receipt, for example, patient paid you 2.5 lakhs. You have given a receipt for 2.5 lakhs cash. You are guilty on this count also. Jo aap 
भगवान ना करे मेडिकल नेग्लिजेंस या कस्टमर डिसेटिस्फेक्शन जो भी हो उस केस का फैसला होगा वो अलग चीज है इन दो चीजों में आप पहले फंसोगे फिर आप ऑडिट के चक्कर में फंसोगे सो इवन स्मॉल मिस्टेक इन फाइनेंसिस कैन गो अ लॉन्ग वे इन डिस्ट्रॉइंग योर रेपुटेशन विच यू हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड इन योर प्रैक्टिस वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स बैक सो डोंट मिस अंडरस्टैंड मी एंड डोंट यू कैन से डू दो थिंग्स विच कैन एक्चुअली कॉज यू अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ट्रेवल so regarding your second question want to know when should we start investments so the primary way to start is lti long term investing if you are beginner i would believe age is on your side you have the biggest gift any financial investor can have time time is the biggest asset i presume you must be below 30 this is a perfect time to begin below 30 having great practice great income flowing in pump in your money pump in your money as much as you can before your liabilities increase and i'm not saying liabilities in a wrong way but when you have kids when you have if you are married or not married i don't know but let's suppose you are married you have not yet started a family when you start a family your expenses are bound to increase and if you are in a city like mumbai tier 1 has more expenses than any other tier city of india so as life takes over you'll get bored you'll go for abroad for vacations also you need to have some short term medium term and long term goals attached so goal based investment is a great exercise and to begin with an lti approach long term investment approach where you block your money good amount of money for 15 20 years minimum which i am saying that below the age of 50 if you are below 30 if i am presuming that correctly or maybe you would be in that range a couple of years plus and minus so even if you are 30 plus minus 2 years plus uh, you can say plus 2 years or minus 2 years looking at those money for 15 to 20 years of blockage which you can do handsomely right now is a great approach so please go ahead and uh, don't uh, you can say shock from investing and start with a balanced approach of putting your money in debt balanced hedge and of course equity so and always keep your banking with a hesba high earning savings bank account don't ever shirk because this is the best time you can do not anyways not scenario wise not weather wise not market wise but age wise because you have biggest gift in your hand time i hope that answers your query So query number hundred and twenty two from Atmakur Nandyal, Andhra Pradesh. Bargaining with the patients and inverse relationship with money and finding difficulty in managing managing overhead expenses. So some of us do have an inverse relationship with money. The faster it comes, the faster it goes. And then we sometimes do not, you can say, use money for its proper purpose. The proper use of money is when it is put to correct way. you need money to be spent for your needs you need money to be spent for your wants you need money to be spent for your recreation you need money to be spent for some spiritual needs you need money to be spent for you can say contribution to the society you need money for long term investing you need money for wealth creation you need money for your sometime bigger family goals or family needs as well so money has different purposes if we don't utilize the money कहते लक्ष्मी जी को एक रास्ता चाहिए अगर हम रास्ता नहीं देंगे तो लक्ष्मी जी ट्रिकल्स अवे लाइक यू कैन से लाइक द वाटर इन यू हैंड यू हैव द हाईएस्ट पॉसिबल यू कैन से लार्जेस्ट वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर इन योर यू कैन से टू हैंड्स यू कांट होल्ड इट फॉर इवन मोर देन फाइव मिनट्स स्लोली बट स्टेडली द वाटर विल ट्रिकल अवे फ्रॉम योर फिंगर जितना मर्जी आप उसको कंट्रोल कर लो सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू होल्ड मनी इट विल नॉट सो द बेस्ट वे इज टू पुट मनी टू यूज एंड यू कैन पुट मनी टू यूज बाय एलोकेटिंग इन टू डिफरेंट कैटेगरी सो दैट मनी सर्व इट पर्पज मनी इज नॉट मेंट टू बी स्टोर्ड इन बैंक ओनली इट इज मेंट टू बी यूटिलाइज and the sooner you can say the more money that remains in circulation it goes away regarding bargaining with the patients i have already detailed multiple times i'll repeat it once again for you i believe these all things start when we don't detail the things in the start we don't give our patients the right perspective we don't uh, set a right context for them right at the start we don't follow the proper documentation protocol and if we don't follow all these things We are bound to face bargaining in the end the, because the patients number one being Indian will try their luck number two they may actually be dissatisfied and they will be comparing 
इतना पैसा दिया इतना वैल्यू नहीं मिला वैल्यू एंड प्राइस दैट द पे दैट बैलेंस एंड लॉजिक विल गो ओवर ऑन एंड इफ यू आर चार्जिंग डिसेंट अमाउंट और गुड अमाउंट देन द वैल्यू फैक्टर कम्स इन मोर एंड इफ यू आर डिफिकल्ट इन मैनेजिंग ओवर हेड एक्सपेंसिस दैट मीन्स यूर चार्जिंग इज नॉट करेक्ट प्राइसिंग इज नॉट करेक्ट दैट मीन्स योर इनपुट इज लेस एंड ओवर हेड आर मोर और the other reason may be that you have a form of approach fear of missing out and buying things based on recommendation from the whatsapp and the facebook university so if you are doing either of those two things your pricing is not correct or you are having a form of approach that everything that comes your way should be bought inside the clinic it's absolutely a wrong approach you should have a roi potential in your mind when you are going to invest in anything new so if you manage these three three things see the maximum overhead is in clinic Uh, i would say 60 to 70% belong to three categories your uh, staff your lab and your material bills your dealer your lab and your you can say manpower or hr or or staff so these three are the biggest categories and they contribute about 60 to 70% of the overhead and the remaining are the miscellaneous expenses for people like uh, you can say who was in tier 1 cities like bangalore bombay mumbai kolkata delhi sometimes the rent is also a bigger overhead so sometimes all these four combined 3 plus 1 rent combined is sometimes close to 80 to 85% so and the remaining are uh, can say office stationery you can say recreation expenses all other corporation bills so many other telephone bills so all other bills combined 15 to 20% so if you are managing having difficulty in overhead uh, management that means your expenses are more that means your profit is less that means your revenue is less if your revenue is less even with so many expenses that means the work done is okay but the pricing is not okay so somewhere somewhere find out the leaking tap leaking bucket if you can locate that that is the best way to seal it puncture lagate hai na car ka scooter ka two wheeler ka kisi ka bhi cycle ka so they first fill in the air and then put the tube or whatever it is into water to check out where the bubbles are first detect first diagnose first locate where is the problem then go on seeing is there there is no universal adhesive ki sare tire ke upar universal ek taping kar do sare puncture apne aap seal ho jayenge it doesn't work that way you have to identify first once you identify then only you will be able to take a corrective action or a remedy based on the problem what it is i hope i have answered you all the queries mentioned in this one line query number 123 from amdavad gujarat opd reduced day by day less implant cases if your opd is reducing day by day then you need to actively think of marketing your practice if you are not actively marketing your practice you are less visible see we are living in a distracted world today you have to understand that there is so much noise in the outside world people hardly find time to even look at their spouse and then respect the fact oh my god you're wearing a new shirt today but people are more interested in the virtual likes and the comments I'm wearing a new shirt, bought a new car, bought a new house. How many likes? How many comments? Rather than the spouse actually saying it, yes, oh my God, you are looking great, you are looking good. So I'm just giving an example. We are living our life by validation, and that is the biggest pitfall. So if you believe that anybody would notice you for your work, which is already less, people don't talk positive things. They talk negative things more. So if you are visible less and less. if you are not visible at your prospect uh, for to your prospective audience you will have a reduction in opd that but natural and of course jab normal kaam nahi hai to fir high ticket implant medium ticket implant cases kahan se honge what is the solution you need to showcase your work to the world what is the best way to show it show it on your website in the form of before and after show it on your social media in the form of content marketing show it in the form of educational marketing educate your target audience educational marketing works wonders for the world people start giving you respecting you as an authority giving you credibility and that is where you find your voice and of course once you have that validation point go in for paid marketing as low as 300 rupees per day as low as 300 rupees per day which is roughly 9000 rupees per month i hope you can you can spare such man uh, such amount of money per day so this is not an expensive exercise of course it can start from 100 rupees per day also 200 rupees per day also depending on what budget you have allocated to external 
आप एक न्यूज पेपर में छोटा सा कट क्लिपिंग भी दोगे ना तो आपको पंद्रह बीस हजार मिनिमम लगेगा जिसमें भी आप शायद विजिबल नहीं होगे बट सोशल मीडिया इज दर्ल्ड वेर यू कैन एक्चुअली डू गुड कैसे कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड मार्केटिंग कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड मीन यू कैन एक्चुअली सिलेक्ट योर टारगेट एरिया आई वॉन्ट माई एड टू बी शो टू दीज पीपल दीज कैटेगरी ऑफ पीपल इन दीज एरिया इफ यू वॉन्ट शो दैट टू यूर नियर बाई पीपल यू आर एक्चुअली इन अ गुड स्पेस टू डू दैट and compared to what the other ad charges are social media marketing is dirt cheap it may go expensive in a couple of years time as it catches on but today compared to what other print advertisements or other you can say other uh, voice advertisements uh, are it is actually dirt cheap so kindly respect that and uh, take advantage of the trends that are going away And uh, if you believe that बैठे बैठे क्लिनिक में भगवान को अपने आप तरस आएगा तब आपकी ओपड़ी बढ़ जाएगी ऐसा कुछ नहीं होने वाला है ऐसा कुछ नहीं होने वाला है यू मे बी ओकेजनली लकी बट ओवरऑल इट्स नॉट एब्सोटली श्योर दैट यू विल हैव अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ लक बट इन टू दिस आई होप आई हैव आंसर यूर क्वेरी Query number hundred and twenty four from Gandhi Dham, Gujarat. I am not able to cultivate the habit of tracking my cash flow, which is the first step for financial management. Typically, always complaining. पैसा कहाँ से आके कहाँ जाता है पता ही नहीं चलता. I am not. I am always con highly confused with which option to choose for investment. So, tracking your cash flow uh, is surely one of the first steps because you need to have an idea of. where the money is coming from and where the money is going because unless you have those things you are not actually knowing whether you are profitable or not and when you are profitable or not that knowledge is not there i'm absolutely you can say surely able to say that you will keep on craving you will keep on complaining and the inverse relationship will continue the faster it will come the faster it will go so usually people who have this tracking of the cash flow problem is because they have higher expenses again i might be wrong but uh, in majority cases it has been seen that uh, higher expenses lead to lack of track of cash flow and of course lesser profits in hand and lesser you can say money or almost nil money at the end of the day or at the end of the year or at the end of the month or end of the year whatever you can say so if you are not able to do that curb down on expenses budgeting is your first step just uh, you can say keep writing down your expenses and go after a month for example whatever you have spent in november go up to that now december is ending go in the first week of jan go about and calculate whatever you have spent if you have, don't have the habit of you can say spending oh, sorry if the don't have habit of writing and start from first jan onwards in the first week of feb track every single expense that you have done in the month of jan without being biased without being judgmental just see how much money have you or wherever you could make a curb that i can stop this money from leaking do that and that will help you in budgeting and uh, as regards your second query you are confused with the option to choose from investment number one thing uh, lti investments are gold any day and debt balanced इतनी बार हम लोग ग्रुप में डिस्कस करते हैं एल पे मैंने लॉन्ग टर्म के आर्टिकल्स लिखे हैं बहुत सारे गो थ्रू दो आर्टिकल्स दे आर देयर इन द एफ बी कम्युनिटी सो यू कैन डू दैट देन फाइनेंशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट जर्नी एफ इस नाम के यूट्यूब पे सीरीज है मेरी एफ सर्च करिए फाइनेंशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट जर्नी एफ आई जे देर फोर पार्ट ऑफ फोर वीडियोज दे केन गाइड यू लास्टली the best way to start investment the first thing the first step in that is apart from cash flow other things is learning about taxation and banking if you want to learn from me i'm doing a workshop next month i'm not sure whether you'll be watching this video or right now or not because this goes live in the month of uh, march and april so because there are already many videos scheduled before that so this video may go live in that so again my next workshop would be about 3 to 4 months at that point of time because I plan to do in not in uh, you can say June. Probably this go will go up to August. The simple reason is that uh, at this uh, point of time in twenty twenty four we'll have two budgets. We'll have an interim budget in uh, January, which is of course the pre election budget, and a full budget in the month of July, most likely mid July. And uh, even if the changes are there or not there, I will like to do the next one. 
बिफोर और यू कैन से आफ्टर द बजट दैट इज वाई आई प्लान दिस वन बिफोर द बजट दीज टू मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ सिक्स एंड सेवन जैन एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन जैन बिफोर जून एंड बिफोर सॉरी बिफोर द बजट इन फेब फर्स्ट फेब एंड द नेक्स्ट वन वुड बी आफ्टर द फुल बजट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट कम ऑन बोर्ड फाइन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न फ्रॉम सम वन एल्स इज एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन बट प्लीज डू लर्न इट because taxation is the basic thing so many things have changed in taxation what i was doing in workshop was version 1 then i changed to version 2 today i am doing a 3.0 version of the same which is a lot different from what i have done in 2020 and 2021 22 so things are a lot different now things are dynamic they keep on changing so if you want to do that perfectly all right but learn these things maybe from someone else you trust and love more so i hope i have answered your query 125 query from coimbatore tamil nadu i have no real estate investment almost all my investments are in mutual funds divided into various categories of course do i really need real estate i am using gold funds also for hedge purpose the thing is i strongly feel real estate is not having anything transparent starting from the price black or white commission chances of encroachment i feel it is not my cup of tea please comment i absolutely agree with you uh, uh, i only feel that real estate is one thing which should be you can say ventured into if you are done with all the basics but i absolutely disagree with you when you say all my investments are in mutual funds divided into various categories uh, that i am not sure how old are you so you must be you can say uh, slightly more middle age to advanced so uh gold funds for hedge when you have sgb is absolutely wrong when you have ppf as a debt having debt mutual funds is absolutely wrong when you have nps as a low cost pension fund having mutual funds in hybrid is absolutely wrong it is only for the equity portion that mutual funds are the best so some would say ppf equitable to you can say elss remember elss and equity will combined give you a LTCG of one lakh. You won't get a ELSS gain separately for one lakh and equity gain separately for one lakh. You'll get it combined. And PPF, even if uh, ELSS gives you more return, the returns would be taxable whenever you want to exit. Yes, tomorrow that one lakh limit is changed to something else. That is something a different uh, uh, share. But if you can spare the money for real estate, if you are done with your basics, perfectly all right. But having you can say all investments in mutual fund is like putting all your eggs in one basket which is absolutely against the normal normal suggested and uh, you can say recommended way of investing and uh, the second is i have a decent size portfolio of 4 cr on an average i am investing 1 lakh average monthly i am investing 1 lakh great am i saving enough or overdoing it you are not overdoing it the more you can put in it is great but without having a knowledge of what how your age how much your age is how much years into practice how much are you actually able to save and invest one lakh out of that i can't really comment on that i don't have any loans that is one of the biggest plus points have an own flat again uh, i believe that uh, you are you can say having a great uh, financial situation or a financial security kind of a scenario but uh, portfolio size 4 cr what age what liabilities what responsibilities left how much are you earning how much are you actually saving and then putting in 1 lakh of course putting in 12 lakhs per year 10 to 15 lakhs is a recommended amount for anyone above 10 to 12 years of practice that is what i believe so if you are into that zone and putting in 10 to 15 lakhs great but putting all that money into mutual fund is a thumbs down for me so you can think of uh, probably you can say venturing into external uh, you can say different stuff but uh, again and the problem will come that if you into late teens considering your portfolio considering your average scenario if i presume you are between the 45 to 50 age you will find it difficult to invest in something like an nps or a ppf but then imagine uh, keep that money in a you can say a uh, that zone where you can bank on that money for the latter half of your career as long as you're working actively or working for fun or working for leisure or working for not for the purpose of uh, you can say 
earning your uh, income from it every month so if you are doing that then perfectly all right but uh, beyond that there is a limit that what you can invest so do write back the whenever if we do the next pain point challenge i'm not really sure whether i'll be doing it next year or not but uh, if we do it you can post uh, whenever you see this video if you see that because i'll be posting these videos in a short uh, format as well next year uh, uh, videos cut out for example query number 125 cut out and posted on a different day that will happen on my youtube channel as well for this pain point session itself whatever uh, queries are asked or whatever queries are answered in here because sometimes people find it very difficult to go through the whole video and they don't know the sequence what exactly is we have picked up the sequence of you can say high moderate pain low uh, pain point category and then the no category as well but people don't know what they have posted six months back so that is the reason we are answering it right now so i hope i have answered your query a four cr is a good portfolio but diversifying is one of the important things that you need especially if you are in the age of 45 to 50 which i presume you may be with this kind of financial situation so query number 126 from panvel navi mumbai maharashtra staff management salary structure see uh, one liners and one words can't have an exact answer staff management is by giving them role clarity job clarity unless you know them what roles they are supposed to perform and then needing a tracking system to track whether they are actually fulfilling their goals or not whether they are diligent or not whether they are punctual or not whether they are performing their task or not and if their salary appraisal annually depends upon the goals assigned or the job clarity given then you will need a, you can say a totally different kind of a scenario for mostly small to medium clinics, there is nothing called as a job description document. There is nothing called as a tracking system. The best thing is verbally told a few things. Then we complain after a few months. Staff ko das bar bhi bolo wo kaam nahi karte hain. Aur staff ko shuru mein bola to bada achche se actively kaam kiya. Now they are again back to their old deadly ways of not doing work or sitting free or making us repeat those things again and again who is at fault i'm sorry to say the staff is not primarily at fault they are at fault but they are secondarily at fault who's at fault this guy the dentist the owner who has not been able to give them proper role clarity job clarity uh, you can say their description of what role they are going to perform it is not about you can say housekeeping guy doing the admin stuff or the record keeping or uh, guy doing the housekeeping or the csa job their roles may be interchangeable sometimes the primary thing is we need to understand the structure is such that we have sometimes admin and reception as separate receptionists perform the work of you can say getting giving the appointments setting you can say maintaining the waiting area getting the form fills if your system is like that and of course telecalling stuff there are admin separately in many clinics it is the reception of the entry stuff also but there are separately admin staff in uh, many clinics where the entry system paperwork consent is done by the admin staff or you can say guided and trained uh, and admin staff then we have the csa the chair side assistant whose role is to assist us at the time of uh, you can say clinic work most of us are doing uh, many of us are doing six handed industry so you need two people out there then of course the lastly is the housekeeping stuff where also you will have a separate person for toilet and a separate person for maintaining instruments and the overall dustbin schedule so even a decent chair with a two to three chair practice will need at least five to six people or need supermen and women who can do multiple tasks and perform those job roles so of course uh, these are two diff three different job roles but for a housekeeping guy to remember all the patient entries is, is an is a very unfair way of doing it salary structure it depends upon the job role uh, a housekeeping staff will never have the same salary as the receptionist which is an educated person's job a receptionist job will never be same as the csa job whose job is to constantly keep on standing each day you may be doing sitting dentistry but most of the times most of the time not always but most of the times the csas are standing beyond us besides us when they are doing and handling the clinic work so uh, understand the salary structure depends upon that and kindly be kind enough to post your detailed query rather than posting one liners or one words 
which can only make me presume that what do you want to ask I still try to answer this honestly and uh, yes uh, i hope it answers your query so query number 127 from mumbai maharashtra i am not able to get enough patients at clinic don't know it it is whether it's me or the price patients want shortcut treatment pay less want best take medicine or consultation and go away Local patients in area less turn up at clinic. Mushroom of cheap practice, cheap price clinics nearby. Difficult to make understand. Majority of patients the quality of work they want cheap work, which I refrain from doing. My clinic is inside building. Visibility issue, less footfall. So being summer, I work on prior appointments. Otherwise, clinic closed. So is it affecting patients? So not able to understand my absence. Causing less income or cheap mentality patients, sasta tikau kam chahiye. As unmarried doctor, they patients look up to me as I don't have any responsibility or liability. My earning is more, and I should treat them for free. Practicing in the same area for last eleven years. So you, even after eleven years of practice, the first thing if you are unmarried is it's high time that you get married first. बिकॉज सबको खुश होने का अधिकार नहीं है जो सपाट ऑफकोर्स मैरिज इज ब्लिस फॉर साम बट सार लड्डू फॉर साम बट हैविंग सेट दैट देर इज ऑलवेज अ राइट टाइम एंड अ राइट एज फॉर सर्टन थिंग्स इवन आफ्टर इलेवन ईयर्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस यू आर अनमेरिड आई बिलीव यू मस्ट बी इन यूर मिड थर्टीज थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव क्लोज टू दैट मे बी कपल ऑफ ईयर्स हेयर इन देयर बट इट्स बेस्ट दैट यू गेट मैरिड ना of course that will put an additional pressure that now you have a wife to maintain as well or if you plan to get a dentist wife then you will say okay we are now earning with not two but four hands anyways so your queries of this page have the answer in the last line by you only my clinic is inside building visibility issue so visibility lack of visibility you are not visible is your answer so if you are having less visibility You already mentioned you having less footfalls. So less footfall means more. You can say less leads, and then whatever come they if they are the window shoppers or the C or D category of patients, convenience or dangerous patients from my list of A, B, C, D, amazing breadwinning, convenience and dangerous. If those window shoppers are C or D patient, then the impression in your mind is like this only: that patient को सस्ता टिकाऊ काम चाहिए. कुछ भी करना है या कंसल्टेशन लेते हैं दवाई लेते हैं चले जाते हैं बिकॉज यू आर नॉट विजिबल वाई वुड अ पर्सन हु इज इन एब्सोल्यूट नीड ऑफ अ क्वालिटी वर्क और अ वर्क विच कंसर्न ही नोज दैट इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम विच शुड बी हैंडल बाय एन एक्सपर्ट वाई वुड ही कम विद अ विंडो शॉपिंग एटीट्यूड टू योर क्लिनिक अनलेस यू आर विजिबल टू हिम और अनलेस समन रेफर यू टू हिम so even if uh, you can say after 11 years you are saying this thing so that means you really need to draw a line somewhere that you are probably not actually getting the right target group of patients where does the problem lie the problem lies with you because you have treated less of that and you want that many quality kaam kiya hai jitno bhi kiya hai kam mein kiya chahe i want quality work uh, and my, i want my quality uh, work to speak for itself your way of working hard is hardly working for you your way of working hard is hardly working for you so change the way you are working work smart i don't say stop working hard but work smart as well ha work hard and smart as well so that you can deliver what your target audience desires or you want or sorry or you get those patients which you desire now if you don't do that i am sure that is a very cheap way of looking at the practice whatever the number of clinics go quality still stands by does mercedes or audi guys complain Oh my God, Maruti dealers are opening up in city. पहले तीन फ्रेंचाइजी थी अब इस सिटी में दस फ्रेंचाइजी होगी मारुति की हम लोगों के सिर्फ एक ही शोरूम है पीपल विल स्टिल गो टू देम पीपल नो इट क्वालिटी इज प्रीमियम क्वालिटी कम्स एट अ प्राइस सो डोंट एक्सपेक्ट क्वालिटी फ्रॉम चीप पीपल इफ यू आर गुड इफ यू आर गुड इन योर वर्क क्लिनिक और खुल जाने इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है there is not dearth of dentists as some would say but there is definitely dearth of good dentists 
if you are confident that your work is good you are skillful you execute the results well you are able to make the patient satisfied via your work and your patient believe that you charge value for money those who get completed then it is your duty it is your duty to reach out to your target audience through marketing through visibility it is the game of visibility the lesser you are visible the lesser you will be sellable it is as simple as that people will take uh, someone granted who is sitting free who is doing you can say who oh, convenience dangerous patient aake to aapko exploit karenge ki hamare ko itne mein milta hai saste mein milta hai to ye kar lo wo kar lo so think about it before you work so less income cheap uh, mentality absence or not absent these are secondary things treating them for nobody wants free treatment you have to change your mentality here nobody wants free treatment everybody knows that uh, some things come at a cost yes and most of the people understand that dentistry is costly so why would they expect it why would they expect it so don't don't think that they will be doing that so i hope uh, that answers your query query number 128 from nashik maharashtra for investment i don't trust anybody and but and then time chala jata hai and i'm confused kahan karo invest real estate or share market or gold or government sectors and i'm afraid of taking loan now emi would start and then this vicious cycle starts right now i don't have a single rupee loan on my head i am most relaxed one house two cars one clinic uh, but i have two small children for whom i will have to work for next 20 years or so and of course uh, and in dentistry it is difficult to maintain fitness till that age i even tried to start small hotel business with my wife but in covid we had to close it and we had a loss of huge 25 lakhs especially now afraid of new ventures and investments when there is there is right now in safe shell but i don't know, but i know that when the, whatever i will earn won't be sufficient so we'll have to compromise uh, on many things and give priority to children as a 80s kid coming from lower middle class uh, won't have a problem but then question stays paisa hai to kafi cheeze aasan hoti hain are there any special uh, children plans where we can plan for uh, them thirdly how to curb the unnecessary expenses of wife and make her financially aware wife ko koi expense uh, unnecessary nahi hota don't even say that नहीं तो तुम घर से निकाल दी जाओगे आज रात को खाना नहीं मिलेगा तुम इफ यू आर वाचिंग दिस एनीवेज द जोक्स अपार्ट सो यस इफ यू आर कंफ्यूज अबाउट वेयर टू इन्वेस्ट फ्रॉम स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक्स आई हैव टोल्ड द बेसिक्स मल्टीपल टाइम्स इन द ग्रुप्स फाइव बेसिस एंड फाइव बेसिक्स यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड डेट में करना है बैलेंस में करना है आई मीन हाइब्रिड में करना है हेज में करना है इक्विटी में करना है एंड हेजबा में पैसा रखना है एज गुड एज दैट इफ यू डोंट री डू दीज थिंग्स देन फॉर श्योर you are bound to get confused and you are in all this losing out on time which is the most valuable asset if it's great that you don't have any loan try that aap ye cheez karo bhi na agle kuch saal because uh, bacche chote hain 20 saal kaam karna hai to live an and life don't live an or life we tie our goals पहले मैं कमा लू पहले मैं बच्चों को सिक्योर कर लू पहले मैं इतने इतना कॉर्पस इकट्ठा कर लू देन ओनली आई विल इंजॉय लाइफ देन ओनली आई विल टेक केयर ऑफ माई हेल्थ देन ओनली आई विल स्टार्ट अ गेम देन ओनली जब आता है तब आप थक जाते हो एग्जॉस्ट हो जाते हो टूट जाते हो यू डोंट हैव एनी थिंग लेफ्ट एंड यू हैव डोंट हैव एनी थिंग लेफ्ट आई एम एब्सोल्युटली श्योर That you will burn more money. अब आपने इन्वेस्टमेंट के चक्कर में होटल बिजनेस स्टार्ट किया पर 25 लाख का नुकसान किया. Earning 25 lakhs takes time in a normal dental clinic. So अगर आपने 25 लाख का इन्वेस्टमेंट किया, I'm not और आप लोन भी नहीं लिया, तो that means you spent that money from your hard-earned savings, hard-earned money and then the savings from that money. So that means आपने उस टाइम को भी गवाया, उसके बाद चार पांच साल और हो गए वो भी गवाए और अभी भी आप श्योर नहीं हो टिल द टाइम यू पुट पुट अप योर मैसेज इन द सर्वे इन जून 2023 कोविड हैपन इन मार्च 2020 सो तीन साल साढ़े तीन साल उसके बाद भी हो गए हैं सो न्यू वेंचर्स में क्यों जाना व्हाई नॉट ट्राइड एंड टेस्टेड थिंग्स पीपीएफ 1960s की स्कीम है 
गवर्नमेंट बैग स्कीम है इनकम टैक्स इम्यून स्कीम है भगवान ना करे आप पे कल को इनकम टैक्स की रेड पड़े भगवान ना करे आपके बैंक अकाउंट सील हो जाए आपके लॉकर सील हो जाए आपके सब मनी सोर्स सील हो जाए इवन द आई टी डिपार्टमेंट के नॉट टच योर पीपीएफ अकाउंट इट इज इम्यून फ्रॉम एवरी थिंग दैट इज दी इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन दोसाइटी ओनली इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन इंडिया विच इज इम्यून फ्रॉम एवरी थिंग सो पीपीएफ इज इम्यून हाइब्रिड के लिए एनपीएस है नेशनल पेंशन स्कीम लोएस्ट कॉस्ट पेंशन फंड लोएस्ट कॉस्ट कैन से रिटायरमेंट का सोल्यूशन सो सेफ शेल में जाने से नहीं होगा बच्चे छोटे हैं तो इक्विटी एक्सपोजर चाहिए of course if you need to have a 20 year time zone in plan from right now especially for your small kids dekho bacche bade honge bachchon ki education aayegi bachchon ki marriage aayegi you will need money for that things but if you are not investing you are losing out on time you lose the advantage of compounding bacche aapke hum log dekhte hain doctors ke sath ye bahut commonly hota hai bahut commonly they are at the retirement age of 55 to 56 एंड यू कैन से उनके बच्चे अभी सेटल ही नहीं हुए होते हैं It happened to me also. So because of that, we lost four or five years. Now our kid is seven years old. I I, I was telling my wife uh, uh, eight nine months back. My daughter appeared in tenth board exams. My elder one appeared in tenth board exams. I said I was forty six back then. I said I am forty six. Ten years later, we'll be doing the same thing with the younger one, and I'll be fifty six. Chhappan saal ki umar mein hamara bacha tenth kar raha hai. And of course, I'm not the only one. This happens to many doctors. ठीक है छप्पन साल में लोग बच्चे ग्रेजुएशन कर जाते हैं वीर मे बी अटल मोर लेट देन दैट बट दैट इज द स्टोरी बच्चा सेटल तो नहीं होता ना बच्चा अर्निंग तो नहीं स्टार्ट करता था बिकॉज ऑफ दैट पीपल कीप ऑन वर्किंग दे कीप ऑन वर्किंग टिल एज ऑफ सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी देर इज एक्चुअली यू कैन से नो गोल्स टाइट टू इट सारी जिंदगी काम करते करते गुजार दी जब टाइम आया एंजॉय करने का घूमने का फिरने का बच्चे कहते हैं हम तो जा रहे हैं आउट ऑफ इंडिया कैनेडा ऑस्ट्रेलिया यूएस ठीक है ना उसके बाद बच्चा बाहर गया वो पूछे ना पूछे आए ना आए सपोर्ट करे ना करे सेकेंडरी क्वेश्चन इवन देन इफ ही स्टेज एयर सपोर्ट यू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट गो अब्रॉड नाउ फॉर अकेशन और यू वॉन्ट गो एनी फॉर अकेशन आपको पार्किसन हो रहा है एल्जाइमर हो रहा है कुछ याद नहीं हो रहा है एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू है गुड हेल्थ उस एज में घूम के फिर के क्या करोगे वेन यू आर लूजिंग आउट द प्राइम ऑफ योर लाइफ सो डॉक्टर्स हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग वेरी वेरी क्लियरली इवन इफ यू इफ इफ यू आर एन एटीज किड सो आई बिलीव दैट यू वुड बी एटलीस्ट इन द लेट थर्टीज इफ नॉट मोर सो अगर आप पैंतीस छत्तीस सैंतीस अठतीस उनतालीस साल के हो लेस देन फोर्टी ईयर्स के हो आप सो इवन इफ यू आर एन अर्ली एटीज किड यू मस्ट बी अवर फोर्टी ऑल्सो सो यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग द क्वेश्चन विल स्टे Yes, money is important. Money is not everything, but money is actually very important. You can't pay your bills with hugs and kisses. You still need money for that. ठीक है ना बोलो कि मेरे से दस हग ले लो पंद्रह किस ले लो मेरा बिल कर दो. You it doesn't happen that way. You still have to need money for that. And then uh, uh, your question, second question, special children plans. Where can we plan for? You can have children funds. but yes firstly have the basics right for you if you are confused of yourself if aapke basics nahi covered hai aapka retirement nahi covered hai to bachchon ka kya hoga bachchon ko achhi education do bachchon ke future ki chinta baad mein karo in terms of that they always say in airlines also dusron ko mask pehnane se pehle aap khud ka mask pehne khud zinda rahoge to aur logon ko bacha loge so that is the way it works so it is very simple to say बच्चों के लिए प्लान खरीदा लेकिन अपनी रिटायरमेंट के लिए कुछ नहीं किया फर्स्ट प्लान फॉर योर ओन रिटायरमेंट देन प्लान फॉर योर किड्स एजुकेशन किड्स प्लान किड्स स्पेशल वट एवर इट है देन लास्टली हाउ टू कब द नेसेसरी एक्सपेंसेस ऑफ वाइफ शो हर द ट्रू पिक्चर आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट शी एक्चुअली डज अननेसेसरी एक्सपेंसेस शो हर द एक्चुअल ट्रू पिक्चर और व्हाट योर फाइनेंशियल्स आर नॉर्मली इट इज अ टैबू टू डिस्कस मनी इन द फैमिली यूजली स्पेशली फीमेल्स एंड आई मस्ट टेल यू 
females are born economic economists they are the budget planners of every house without a formal knowledge and we keep them away from we keep them away from finances we don't discuss these things in the family so make her financial aware by showing her the true financial picture lay out the goals plan out the things with her engage in a discussion that yes we we plan to go till here and this is the way our financials lie and this is the solution that i expect and of course if she is your true spouse is your true you can say uh, partner she'll understand this thing and of course uh, things can get better for you so i hope i answer your query so query number 129 from amdavad gujarat not getting a good payment even after 10 years of experience people hire as an associate dentist but want associate dentist plus assistant plus receptionist but pay less than a receptionist see uh experience and skill are two different things people equate skill to experience so if somebody if somebody uh, please don't mind my words but if somebody is paying you a receptionist salary then probably you are not that skillful in his eyes so you will need to first command a respect in that regard where you command a price because of your skill that you become an indispensable part of the clinic if your work speaks for itself even if you are experienced or non experienced if your skill level is there then nobody can uh, you can say take you for a ride they'll believe that the maximum amount of work clinical work they can delegate to you that is more but if you are not happy and you are skillful you can always change the place always change the place if you are indispensable that employer will stop you from changing the job and make you stick to that but if you are like any other routine dentist without any special skill which separates you from the crowd then this problem this question you will have even after 15 years of experience even after 20 years of experience so that is why i said please don't mind my words you need to differentiate yourself have that one or two skills of dentistry which can set you apart and make you an indispensable part of the clinic so if you're working as an associate dentist even after so many years of practice i can believe uh, this is from a female dentist so usually have that uh, reason of uh, not opening up the clinic sometimes because of the situation sometimes because of the you can say husband's transferable job or sometimes because of many other reasons but uh, yes sometimes doing multitasking a few days when or doubling up as staff is not at all bad but make it clear that you, if you are doing that you expect certain extra pay but as i said if you are skillful in their eyes they'll always pay but if they, you are not then they'll be happy to get rid of you that is why i say please don't mind my words so make yourself skillful and separateable not don't look at the e side or the experience side look at the skill side or the s side so i hope that answers your question query from delhi india 130 not able to manage money maximum amount goes in emi it is as simple when you have more uh, more expenses and less of income this is bound to happen and then when there are more expenses more money is going in emi because we are invested in a vicious loan cycle the best solution for you is take the help of your family extended family friends relatives and pay back the money as soon as possible with a prior closure of interest whatever prior closure of loans and then vote to never take a loan you can say make yourself so much independent if you are taking a loan you are not actually realizing the financials ki aapko kitna emi dena padega do you have a uh, fixed source of income if you don't have a fixed source of income if you don't uh, have a strateg strategically flowing uh, money uh, in your clinic then who is going to save you from the clutches of the banks that they come to you can say clutch your property or whatever you have kept as a collateral so ma maximum on going in emi is absolutely your fault you did not anticipate or foresee that loans how am i going to pay back the first thing is get rid of that monkey from your back which is known as the loan one so once you pay back the loans perfectly life would be easy for you so query from noida extension delhi ncr india patient flow and payments cash flow paying capacity of patients is very less 
somebody from noida gurgaon delhi ncr taking patients capacity is less i don't trust you sorry for that piche ek ya do mahine pehle gurgaon mein delhi ncr only flats bik rahe the those flats were valued at 100 crores in 7 minutes 7 flat minutes booking was closed and it was a huge number of flats not ki do char panch flat the people are buying flats for 100 crores and you are saying patient paying capacity na metro is less you are actually kidding or wanting me to believe that i was also shocked when i read this thing so patient flow and payments if they are not consistent then you are not visible you are not visible to your target audience केसेस हैं तो उनको दिखाओ मार्केटिंग करो कंटेंट मार्केटिंग करो एजुकेट करो रीच आउट टू पीपल टारगेटेड अप्रोच रखो सीधा पेड एडवर्टीजमेंट पे नहीं जाना है पहले अपना एक बनाओ वैलिडेशन पॉइंट वेर पीपल कैन एक्चुअली कोरलेट यू यस ही हैज सम क्रेडिबिलिटी सम अथॉरिटी सम रेपुटेशन थ्रू योर कॉन्टेंट स्टार्ट एजुकेटिंग पीपल फिर मत बोलना कि ये कॉन्टेंट बनाने से क्या फायदा कोई देखता तो है नहीं और एवरीबडी इज मेकिंग सेम काउंट सेम काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टेंट वट विल आई ऑफर समथिंग न्यू और आई एम शाई ऑफ फेसिंग द कैमरा आई कान डू इट यूर थाउजेंड एक्सक्यूजेज नाइन नाइनटी नाइन एक्सक्यूजेज एंड वन रीजन ऑफ डूइंग इट आउट ऑफ थाउजेंड हैव दैट वन रीजन बिना कुछ किए कुछ रिजल्ट नहीं मिलता बिना एफर्ट डाले रिजल्ट नहीं मिलेगा और अगर आप ऐसा सोचते हैं कि मिलेगा देन यू आर एक्चुअली फूलिंग योर सेल्फ कैश फ्लो इम्प्रूव तभी होगा ना अगर पेशेंट ओपीडी फ्लो ओपीडी फ्लो बढ़ेगा अगर ओपीडी फ्लो नहीं बढ़ेगा कैश फ्लो फिक्स एक्सपेंसेस फिर भी रहेंगे तो कैश फ्लो तो नेगेटिव में रहेगा ना रेड जोन में जाएगा ही जाएगा पेइंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ पेशेंट इज नॉट लेस योर टारगेट ग्रुप इज रॉन्ग यूर नॉट रीचिंग आउट टू टारगेट ग्रुप बट देन ये सारा कुछ करने का फायदा तो है अगर आपकी स्किल में समथिंग स्पेशल है देर इज नथिंग स्पेशल इन योर स्किल then uh, nobody can help you so make yourself skillful if you're lacking in certain things you can say improve them then have good cases then showcase that educational marketing content marketing and then going for paid marketing with a targeted approach choose your patients before <coughs> choose your patients before your patients choose you i hope i have answered your query query from yavatmal maharashtra patient for fmr does lot of bargaining fmr in sense of rct and full coverage ground okay great uh, as per competition uh, need a patient fear of losing patient after year or two the patient gets dislodged crown on bed they say we had paid already scaling is always free as we are doing many rct so please consider doc saab <laughs> the only thing is if you don't set the right context at the start you will continue to face these problems and if you are facing these problems you know whom to blame you are the one whom to blame multiple rcts crown karke full mouth cases kar rahe hain and then you fall into that trap doc saab panch fillings kar rahe hain ek free kar do 5 plus 1 free see if you are doing six fillings in one sitting i always tell the patient very clearly ki bhai saab aap time bacha rahe hain sitting bacha rahe hain patrol bacha rahe hain waiting time bacha rahe hain अपना जो भी है रिपीट टर्न ओवर बचा रहे हैं सो एक्चुअली इफ यू आर चार्जिंग लेट सपोज वन थाउजेंड फॉर रेस्टोरेशन आप बोल रहे हैं कि मैं छह हजार के काम आपको पांच हजार में कर दू फाइव प्लस वन फ्री करके यू आर एक्चुअली सेविंग ऑन ऑल दो थिंग्स पेट्रोल टाइम मनी एनर्जी रिसोर्स वॉट एवर यू कैन से यू शुड एक्चुअली पे मी सेवन थाउजेंड फॉर सिक्स फिलिंग आई एम मेकिंग यू सेव मोर देन वन थाउजेंड रुपीज सो यू शुड पे मी वन थाउजेंड मोर राधर देन यू आस्किंग यू टू रिड्यूस वन थाउजेंड अंडरस्टैंड understand that very clearly and be vocal to the patient so if you set the right context start with consent form this tells me that you are not using any consent form how do i judge from that because patients are they are paid already if they believe that it comes with the terms and conditions said that ki root canal aise hoga crown aise hoga fail ho sakta to ye conditions hain uske upar ye hai there are so many things मेंशन इट डिटेल ट्रीटमेंट अप्रूवल फॉर्म में मेंशन कीजिए सिग्नेचर्स लीजिए कंसेंट पे सिग्नेचर्स लीजिए वंस यू टेक दोस सिग्नेचर्स द पेशेंट्स आर नॉट गोइंग टू रन अवे दे विल रियलाइज दे विल एक्चुअली रियलाइज व्हेयर डस द प्रॉब्लम लाई स्केलिंग इज फ्री वी वांट टू यू कैन से रिवार्ड देम फॉर बीइंग ऑनेस्ट एंड लॉयल पेशेंट ग्रेट डू इट फॉर फ्री बट अदरवाइज नेवर एवर डू इट फॉर फ्री नेवर एवर डू इट फॉर फ्री 
फ्री चीजों की कोई कीमत नहीं होती है यू कैन सी योर सेल्फ हाउ मेनी पीपल आर देयर इन द जूम रूम बिकॉज दिस इज फ्री समबडी स्पेंडिंग टाइम वेस्टिंग टाइम इवन वेन ऑन अ वेकेशन आई एम डूइंग दिस थिंग टू एजुकेट देम हु पोस्टेड देयर प्रॉब्लम पीपल दे डोंट गेट यू कैन से दे डोंट वॉन्ट सोल्यूशन दे हैव बिगैन टू एंजॉय विक्टिम हुड मैं कितना दुखी हूं इसको मैंने एक बार लिख दिया मेरी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व If this was reflecting it, people can't attend live. It is end of the year. People are on vacation. Fine. It should reflect in the YouTube views of the those things. जितने लोगों ने problem डाली है उतने views तो आते. Again, I'm not complaining here. What I'm saying here is that people have began to enjoy victim mode. कि हमारे लिख दिया problem solve हो गए. And that is where the problem comes. That is where the problem comes. So if you are doing that. Out of anything, you can say you should not be expecting results from your patients. So don't do it for free. Free things are never expected. And uh, of course, why I wanted to finish all these things in this year is because I also don't want to do many things free from New Year onwards. This is also my resolution. Probably free things are also not working. Let's now stick on to the paid jobs in twenty twenty four. maybe that can change the way people look at whatever i do again just a comparison not a craving or a complaining thing so don't take me unrealistically so i hope this answers your query query number 133 from shiyoganj rajasthan my brother is posted in rajasthan i never knew that this uh, named city is there in rajasthan okay number 1 is rapat what is rapat anyways rate variation and value for money that will be there that will always be there because people are situated in different tiers of areas in a same city as well now mumbai has a you can say a area like nala sopara and a virar basai and a mumbai has an area like andheri east or andheri west it has a area like bandra or kolaba so you can't compare a dadar with a bandra and a virar basai with a andheri so there will be rate variation and value for money the only question is what do you want as a change if you want that people should respect you you need to charge well and you need to charge well for the value of money that you are you can say you can say for the value of the treatment that you are offering so it should always be over delivery and under promise that is the mantra that i live by with and uh, regarding work life balance this is very very important you can say uh, it does not mean how busy you are but if you don't take time for balancing your karma in the form of career wealth creation recreation time management your spiritual growth your me time your uh, contribution to the society and of course relationships and family if you're not balancing yourself and of course having one outdoor game in your uh, schedule if you're not balancing all these things in your life then uh, aapka sara kamaya hua paisa is zero is zero is zero so it doesn't matter how much you earn it it matters how much money you put into you can say get into there so have that work life balance because it is very important for own rejuvenation live start living an and life not an or life i want career or relationships i want career or money i want career or uh, recreation i want career or family i want career or spirituality it doesn't work there i want career and family and relationships and wealth creation and recreation and contribution to society and spirituality and an outdoor game and a me time all these things are and start living an and life not an or life i hope that answers your query so dr shilpa i'll get back to queries just i when i end the session around 9 o'clock so i'll get back to all the queries that are there in the uh, chat box so query number 134 from jalandhar punjab main pain point is how to scale up the practice how to create a wow factor for patients simple thing is increase the value that you provide and you will be able to help out more and more patients if you under promise and over deliver you will be doing it now 
if you mention the word scale up the practice, I will believe uh, you have already attained the success part. If you attain the success part, then the wow factor is needed before the success part, not at the scaling stage. Now, if we say start, survival, struggle, start, struggle, sorry, start, struggle, survive, once you open up, and then is the stable phase. Start, struggle, survive, stable, success, and then scale. Scale is the last stage. Scale when you venture into different uh, verticals, uh, horizontally or vertically, of dentistry. Maybe issue franchises, maybe open up more chains, more clinics. So that is the next step. So I believe that uh, you want to increase the practice level you are having. So I would say if you are at a stable phase, want to go up to success phase, scaling up from stable phase to success phase, the best way is price is the biggest filter. And quality is another big differentiator. Start offering better quality to lesser people, but don't compromise on the marketing part so that you have consistent leads flowing in. You're doing quality work, you're getting paid, filtering out the unnecessary ones. Those who can't afford you, those who don't need quality treatment, automatically filtering. So marketing is what will differentiate along with over delivery, offering quality service at a justifiably viable price to you, which should be a win, win, win. Win for your staff, win for your patients and win for you as well. The staff is happy. The patients are happy that we got value for our money. Nobody says cheap or expensive. They always say, whatever paid for, I got value for my money. Somebody spending 10,000, somebody spending 1 lakh if for same service. Just an example. So, that's gonna they came up, 100 rupees, 1,000 rupees, 1,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees, 1 lakh rupees. Just an example. So, people won't say, I got it done for cheap. I got it done very acha tha, but expensive. Tha. They say, always say, I got value for my money. So increase the value that you're providing. Small little things are going to matter a big one. I have a YouTube video on that. How to create value in your practice. A two set of videos. Watch those. And of course, the tagline of that is increasing the wow factor in your practice. If you get that, uh, search that and you will get results. And I hope I have answered it very so query number 135 from Anandpur Sahib, Punjab. Overburdened due to very few dentists focus on quality work. I get too many referrals. Wow, problem of plenty. It's good for my practice, but I feel overburdened. You bound to if you are the only one. Not getting experienced dentist as staff. You don't need experience. You need skillful. I've reduced my working hours to decrease the pressure and exhaustion, but that is affecting my income. Simply saying, if you are overburdened because of work, it's better that you start delegating. You don't need experienced dentist. A fresher can be good as well. I, I was in an event in Bangalore last week. Um, Dr. Velumani, if you're aware who he is, he is the uh, guy who started Thyrocare. Thyrocare in uh, Mumbai. So the diagnostic laboratory. Of course, he has now exited and uh, he came to Mumbai he, he fondly tells his story. He said, uh, I came to Mumbai with 500 in my body. I said, he'll ask why 500 in my body? Because the pockets get picked. Jeb cut leta tha koi. Isle 500 rupi apri body ke sa chip ka ke Mumbai aya tha. And he was one guy who you can say had done, you can say one uh, month. And his father was not there. He passed away at a very young age. And is the mother, uh, as you can say, uh, reared all the five kids. All of them graduated from University of Madras. And all of them postgraduate also from the University, University of Salem, Shad or Madras. I don't remember. But yes, all five children postgraduates. And he's, he tells this thing that uh, I, go, I sat in, I got 200 out of 200 in my maths exam in plus two. But uh, BCom, he took an admission in BCom. Because the fees was 300 rupees per year. And BSc fees was, a science student, he was 400 rupees per year. So because of 100 and 100 rupees, he shifted to BCom. Such, you can say, in the, it was only when his professor noticed him after a month, his maths professor. Idiot, what are you doing in BCom? He said, I am, uh, because of this reason, I am there. So he paid 100 from his pocket and shifted him to BSc. 
so he graduated uh, and then post graduated and ultimately you can say came to mumbai uh, asked for jobs nobody gave him a job he said you don't have any experience he said he said i graduated in may this year i am coming for an interview in june you idiot where will i get experience from so that was the you can say and then he went on to you can say barc baba atomic research center he worked for about 14 or 15 years there from 1982 to 1995 in 1995 with the after he was married also in, in the meantime that is another story for all, uh, other day so he mentioned that uh, from uh, 1995 96 he started thyro care with a rupees 2 lakh of saving that he had and the first thing he did was he employed always freshers in his clinic he said i have given job to 25000 freshers and that is indeed a rare feat so don't underestimate yes we talk of the broken education system that we have in our society the kind of quality or non quality graduates that are coming out but then having said that if you are delegating work it is should be based on your skill part you can say make them undergo a skill exam rather than just looking at experience sometimes experience is a false shadow that we all live by or is the veil or the garb that we all live by so delegate your work hire skillful dentist rather than experienced dentist so you reducing your working hours is absolutely fine but your clinic reducing your working hours is not fine rather than you can say Uh, having a practice which is dependent only on you, have a practice which runs without you or runs with your partial involvement. As you grow in your practice, you need to spend more time at the back end, planning the cases rather than at the front end, treating all the cases. So this is the difference that you need to make a small degree shift. It's not just change the lens you are looking at the things, and uh, of course it'll affect not affect your income because. then if you are delegating your work you can take vacations at will i am right now on my vacation i just told you and it it is usually we always plan a getaway at the year end this time we decided we'll go on probably third or fourth because kids were having holiday after 30th and then uh, there were a couple of other factors as well so i planned one or two days whatever we plan at the year end we'll do this time on third or fourth and uh, a week back a week back my elder one's date sheet came exam starting from 4th of january so we were like what to do and i was away last week for 3 days in bangalore and delhi 2 days in bangalore one day in delhi and uh, of course after that i had a huge workload backlog as well because again multiple reasons people want to get the treatment done and finished in the in before the new year and i spent saturday sunday monday tuesday and wednesday working like hell and remember all these pain point sessions also started from tuesday onwards these were planned a month ago the brochures were ready a month ago all, although we posted it last week they were all designed links qr codes everything this is not a one day job we need to plan a lot we need to make time adjustment for this this was all planned a month ago ragu designed these brochures a month back so we needed that but then there was a sudden change you know okay i'll finish up my all my possible work till wednesday and of course delegate the ones that i am doing to my associate staff and they'll be taking care of these things and the next thing uh, we know is that i was away for thursday i planned that thursday and friday i'll be away but that is the way how look at it i'll be back tomorrow morning to finish off whatever uh, a few cases are there because new cases to be started are already lined from monday onwards and very told them very clearly yes what do you want a new year a new day a new week new month so starting you want to come stay on 1st jan because people in punjab are a little superstitious naye saal mein dentist ke paas nahi jana hai naye saal mein doctor ke paas nahi jana sara saal aise bitega people do that and we have the you can say the freest of the possible days from 1st to 13th of jan till lodi bahut kam opd hoti and we enjoy that phase so that is i planned a vacation also planned a workshop also in those dates of 6th and 7th jan ki theek hai clinic load will be comparatively less but we have three big cases starting from monday onwards 
let's hope they turn up and they don't have any superstition. What I mean to say is that number of working hours should not reduce. We, our clinic still runs from eight to nine, nine hours, eight and a half to nine max. But I work for five to six hours. That is the commitment I have. Yes, I did some overtime with my associate. Uh, I have one associate working for me. So I had that phase that uh, you can cut down on your work yourself, but the clinic runs for that hours. So take a break wherever you need it. I took a break three days last month, uh, last week, two days this week. And next week also I have a workshop. I take one day break from clinic again. So it's not about uh, how longer you are present in clinic, but how long your clinic is running without you. That is the essential part. So with this, uh, we finish today's session at the stroke of nine and we will continue from query number 36, 136 from Chennai, Tamil Nadu uh, from here uh, tomorrow. And uh, of course, uh, just a few announcements uh, for some of you who are watching on Facebook as well and uh, on, uh, of course, in the Zoom room. So thank you so much. And uh, this is the session that will be coming up in the morning again. I'll be doing it from here. And after that, I travel back and... Uh, I'll be reaching in the morning schedule itself uh, at my residence. Uh, and of course, uh, tomorrow evening session uh, would be there on that. I've missed Thursday's session uh, uh, partly, of course, uh, today morning and yesterday. So we'll be, we still had, we, I knew this thing may happen. So we have a buffer on Sunday, but Sunday timing, uh, morning may be at the same time, uh, but the evening session time may be different. So I'll inform you tomorrow. Uh, as per looking at my schedule, because I have a few commitments as well on Sunday. So if I'm able to juggle that, uh, I'll try four to six or four to five thirty or six or five to seven. That should be the time for Sunday evening. Morning would go as planned because I want really, I'm desperate to finish these queries in 2023 itself. Even if that means working on a Sunday for this, or even if that means that one and a half session of 90 minutes goes up to 120 minutes. So keep a margin on Sunday for additional half an hour because I will finish each and every query. I've clubbed a few queries. Of course, the number may not be 250, but I'm making sure that each and every single query is answered. Probably we'll have 220 or 230 and we are done till 130. Cover another 25, 30 tomorrow and we will be in the 170 zone. And then the last few queries are just, you can say, a breeze through. But I'll still try to complete them. So this is my finance workshop that is coming up. Uh, those of you on Facebook can make a note of it. Uh, this is having, of course, although the registration has closed now, but if you want to still register, uh, you can let me know in my personal chat window. So what is the homework for today? Please develop the creative of giving back to the society. I mentioned in the end life, there is one thing known as contribution to the society. It does not need to be always in the cash. It can be in kind. So help those who are attending, who are not attending. There is a huge amount of list of at least, you know, I complained all I see attend So whatever you have takeaways posted, uh, and of course you cement your learnings. Also writing is the best form of learning. You can tag me on social media and post on social media as well. My ID everywhere is Dr. Babdeep like this, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want to post, you can post it as your takeaways. Of course, YouTube channel also by same name, DR Babdeep. And of course, uh, Facebook community known as PSD, public uh, plugging handicaps and dentistry, or the group is group slash Dr. Babdeep again. Those of you uh, who are watching on Facebook, uh, if you don't have, uh, you can say, uh, not in my WhatsApp community, please uh, note uh, make a note of this, send me a message, I'll add you there. And do send me a feedback, bookers and bookbacks, both welcome in equal my ear. And of course, I stop my share for questions. Whatever questions are posted in the chat, first I'll answer that. Okay. So Dr. Shilpa Rao asks, can we take digital signatures on a consent form? As of now, we take sign on physical copies. No, ma'am. Uh, consent laws at present still warrant live physical signatures. You can't have digital signatures. They are not valid in the court of law. Unfortunately, that is the situation even in the today's digital world. You need a physical copy and you need to retain a physical copy of that for three years. Hum log kya karte Usko signed copy ko scan karke system mein rakh lete so that for an easy reference later on. So uska consent form bhi hota hai, uske folder mein, jo unsigned hota hai in the word format. Signed is in the JPG or the PDF format because we can't edit it. So that's why we keep it in, the, in that form. So that Kalko, for example, I have consent for a 4-5 or for a 3-5. So I 
tomorrow the patient comes to me for a four five or a four six i just need to change the tooth number and copy paste the same consent next time it is only the first time or the second time that the consent needs to be a little difficult or a different but after that if you do a proper way of uh, doing the consent as it is done then you don't need uh, you can say uh, you can say even the lengthiest of the processes it is just a formality for the patient in that sense so i hope that answers your query okay thank you dr divya thank you dr rabhavna okay that makes sense yes thank you so any more questions please uh, feel free to uh, ask and uh, of course unmute of course i'm sorry i think i have not unmuted you yes you can unmute yourself switch on your camera and you want to ask anything please feel free to do, do. your view on stock okay dr sabesh ji yes, sir your view on stock sip uh, it's a personalized choice uh, sabesh ji i still believe that uh, still believe that uh, sip is best done in the mutual fund format unless it is a stock uh, i was listening to a podcast early in the morning today aaj to hai na chahe vacation pe kuch aur neend to subah khul jani body clock ki aisi hai uh, i was listening to a podcast he said raj uh, rakesh junjun wala said he made money in this stock this stock unke paas 200 portfolios the but he made money in four or uh, one of them was titan so and tata of course so unka bhi yahi hai na ki आपका कौन सा स्टॉक रन करेगा नहीं करेगा बट ही आल्सो आल्सो यस बैंक ही ही वेदांता डीएचएफएल सो थिंग्स व्हिच आर बिग डट्स आल्सो ही हैड दैट बट वी डोंट टॉक ऑफ फेलियर्स वी टॉक ऑफ सक्सेस सो विच स्टॉक कैन बी रियली गुड विच स्टॉक कैन नॉट बी आई स्टॉप एक्टिव ट्रेडिंग यू कैन से इन टू आई स्टिल डू बाय वेरी वेरी लेस फ्रिक्वेंटली बट मोर ऑफ डिस्पोजिंग ऑफ द एसेट्स looking at may 2024 as the final exit from many many portfolios that i am holding because i'm holding them till the elections i want to you can say get out of that and i want to put my money into more useful form other than stock because it becomes difficult for me in the kind of workspace i am to monitor these things regular basis along with the practice and the coaching that i do so again practice is still full time maybe i'll cover down on the practice as well so i'm not a big fan of stock sip but if you can dedicate and allocate time into tracking each and everything go for it it is a good one but then only bet on blue chips or a listers don't bet on bet on penny stocks thinking ki isko to kam paisa lagaya grow kar jayega doob bhi jayega to koi baat nahi hai don't take a stock sip in penny stocks and take the ones on which are the reliable ones or a listers so i hope that answers your query uh dr bhavna says you keep the record of the formulated consent and scanned signature consent in the patient's old id मल्टीपल कंसेंट होती है तो फिर हम सबको पीडीएफ में बना देते हैं नहीं तो सिंगल जेपीजी में है वो मेरे स्कैनर में दोनों ऑप्शंस हैं यू वांट टू टेक आउटपुट एज जेपीजी और प्रिंट पीडीएफ सिंगल और टू पेजेस का मैं हमेशा जेपीजी लेता हूं मल्टीपल पेजेस होते हैं मोर देन थ्री फोर फाइव पेजेस मल्टीपल कंसेंट्स हैं तो आई टेक ऑल ऑफ देम टुगेदर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ पीडीएफ सो दैट आई नो इट टुमारो कि हां कल को मेरे ने ये भी प्रोसीजर किया था कंसेंट इसकी भी लिए थी सो दैट आई नो अगर स्कैन में पड़ा तो इसका मतलब उसकी वर्ड फाइल भी उस फोल्डर में पड़ी होगी एंड द वर्ड फाइल इज इज देयर यू कैन से इन दैट फोल्डर देन दैट मींस वो अगली बारी के लिए मेरा काम उस पेशेंट में अगर सेम वर्क है इट मेक्स माय लाइफ इजी एंड आई कैन री डू दैट इवन फॉर दैट पेशेंट और इवन फॉर सम अदर पेशेंट ऑफ अ सिमिलर कैटेगरी तो मैं उसको वर्ड पेस्ट सीधा कॉपी पेस्ट वहीं पे करूंगा चेंजिंग अ फ्यू थिंग्स जो बेसिकली कंसल्टेशन इंक्लूजन होते हैं पीसीआई दैट यू डू नो बाय नाउ तो पीसीआई को सिर्फ चेंज करते हैं या कुछ और कंडीशन फिजिकल होती है वो चेंज करते हैं Because I don't start the patient same day. हमेशा consent के लिए मेरे पास time होता ही है एक या दो दिन बीच में होते हैं So make it into that phase when it is a comprehensive case involved. We do that. <coughs> And of course, जब express होती है तो उसमें तो वैसे जरूरत नहीं है So I hope that answers your query. Okay. Okay. Dr. Shilpa Rao says, Do you have any format of consent to recommend? Ma'am, we teach customized consent forms. There is nothing called as a fixed consent form. We make it fresh for every patient. there is a con con format that i have developed and i teach that in the consent form workshop wo 3 din ki workshop hai record keeping dal ke ab wo 3.0 version 4 din ka hai 
So this workshop used to happen in two days and three days. Now it is a 3.0 version of four days. One day for record keeping and three days for consent. Maybe a, a couple of hours more for record keeping. Uh, cut into that. So that is the format. There is not a format which is there, but that format of mind covers each and everything. And still it is a comprehensive consent and still it is not more than two A4 size pages. So jump onto it uh, whenever I do it next. So, so do patient for Dr. Divya says, sir, do patient photos also come under compulsory patient records? Yes, if you are taking that for the way of diagnosis. If you are using them for diagnosis, for example, if it is a root canal case, sometimes you if there is no swelling, you won't need any intraoral extraoral pictures. So I don't take pictures in all cases except where they are needed to make a diagnosis. So if diagnosis is important, then those pictures are taken. And uh, if yes, how long do we need to keep photos? The same logic of three years applies on all the medical records that are need to be maintained, digital, physical, whatever. Chai wo models hai, chai wo photos hai, chai wo consents hai, chai wo MR form, hai, medical student form hai, chai wo case paper hai, case sheet hai, anything. Three years. Minor ke liye, till the time he turns minor. Chai saal ka bachcha hai, bara saal rakho ke till the kid turns 18. So records mein photo bhi aati hai, especially where they are used for making diagnosis. Haan, aapko waise photo lene ka shock hai, just an example, ki haan, meriko cases ki photo lene hai before, after pictures or whatever. For documentation purpose, if they are not helping out in any way of diagnosis, wo aap apna case rakhne ke baad delete kar do, rakh lo, your choice. Depends upon whatever you want to. So I hope that answers your query. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shilpa. Thank you, Dr. Divya. Any more queries? Please feel free to ask. Okay, if we are done, any queries on Facebook? No, there are not any. So if we are done, uh, I see you tomorrow morning at 6.45 for episode number 10 of penultimate episode of the practice management uh, pain points. And of course, uh, I know it is winter. But if you can, please do take out time. Uh, I've already posted in the group and I'll be doing it. And of course, once I finish them, then I'll be leaving for my clinic. Definitely. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care and have a great day and have a great end to the year in the coming two. Thank yes. you, sir. Bye-bye.